you ever have that just pain that starts to come into your body? You ever have that anxiety that just creeps down the back of your neck when you have to think about going back to the gym and starting all over again? You too? Yeah, me as well. Let's talk about it a little bit. Welcome in everybody. Welcome into XL Think. My name is Raymond Tate, otherwise known as XL. Here at XL Think, we talk a little bit about weight loss. We talk about motivation in terms of weight loss as well. And we also talk about living an XL lifestyle. XL lifestyle can fall into many different categories. Fashion, uh, really different ways. It all comes down to people, whether you want to lose three pounds, whether you want to lose 300 pounds. XL lifestyle is what we all feel when we're in that mode. Topic of the day, guys, is, I talked a little bit about that in the intro, that feeling that you get of when you have to go back to the gym. Really what we're gonna be talking about today is the 10 main things in terms of fears that we have to get over as we start to get into going back to the gym, trying to motivate myself to get in there as well. These 10 things, I think we've got a pretty comprehensive list. Let's go through it. The number one fear my opinion, and this list kind of goes up and down. It's not in a particular order, but let's start with number one. <laughs> number one, appearance, okay? The thing that is very difficult is, you know, we go back to the gym, we're so worried about what we look like. Let me liken it to this. <clears throat> You're in high school. You're chiseled out, you know, you got abs all over the place, you know what I'm saying? You're cut, you got all these things. College, those that you start to get a little bit farther into your life, your appearance changes a little bit, right? You have kids, ladies, you have kids. Guys, we just get heavy. <laughs> no particular excuse, but we don't play as many sports as we used to, or there's different things that go into it. The appearance changes. Well. We're all in that spot. We can't worry about what our appearance is now. We've got to be able to embrace it, understand where it is, but not let that fear of what our appearance is hinder us from being able to make our goals later on. So that's really the first thing that you gotta do is take that first step, get into the gym and understand it. Here's what we're doing, let's get it done. Now, I just mentioned appearance, but there is something that you do have to worry about in appearance. It's number two, fear in terms of getting back to the gym, and that's what clothing do you wear, right? Here's the thing. If you haven't been into the gym in a while, uh, things have changed in terms of what people wear, okay? You've got to kind of adapt with the times. Now, I'm gonna talk about one of the things that I absolutely love Yoga pants, yoga pants, yoga pants, okay? Ladies, yoga pants are absolutely acceptable to wear to the gym. Bam, there I said it. I should drop the mic, walk the hell out. But let's get back on track. The thing about it is, is that ladies, it's a little bit, you know, it's not, no, it's not easy for any of us to be able to pick out outfits and to be able to go to the gym. Look, it's not meant to be a fashion show going back there, but let's, let's call it what it is. It's not that you have to wear a whole bunch of expensive items. It's not like you have to, and this is hard coming from me, matching brands in terms of what's there. I do it, okay, I got it. I, I, I get it, I get it. I do it, but here's the thing. A nice preference for ladies. One more thing that you're gonna have to get into, wear a supportive bra. Guys, I know, I know, I'm gonna lose my man card on this one, but as much as we love to see ladies do their thing, they're on a treadmill, we're like this. Yeah, it's just not a good look, lady. So the thing about it is there's also some chick that's sitting over there and she's on the machine talking about that bitch. I don't know why she can't wear a bra. You don't want to have that particular scenario going on. Now, for guys, guys, I'm gonna give you, gonna give you the don'ts first. First thing is you are not allowed to wear tights without shorts. We on the same page? You can wear tights. Gotta have shorts over top of them. Rule number one, okay? Rule number two for dudes. Don't wear 
the tank top, tankini, whatever you want to call it, that goes all the way over there. Just, it doesn't even cover your nipples. It just goes all the way. It, it just, everything's out on the sides and everything. Listen, nine out of 10 dudes can't wear that because they don't have the body that's chiseled under there and everything. Look, I'm all for living the XL lifestyle, but you don't need to have everybody else looking at your XL lifestyle when you're out there. Two things, guys. Don't wear tights without shorts. Wear an appropriate shirt, okay? And don't wear it too tight. That's what it is. Like I said, anything across the board, male or female. Don't wear something that's too tight. It's gonna be strict, restrictive on you and probably is not you know, body appropriate per se. The other thing about it is, is that don't wear something too big. There's so many things that can happen. You know, It could be too big and catch on machines. You don't wanna fall down. You get the point. Them's the rules, but wear what you wanna wear. Be comfortable. That's the big thing, okay? Number three, weight intimidation. Now, Best way to be able to find weight intimidation is that, I'm gonna give it mostly for the guys, but ladies, you get this too, but humor me on this one. Guys, we get back to the gym, haven't been in there in a while. We remember what we used to bitch. Remember that, you know, when we used to get there and push it out and everything, we think we can get back there that quickly. It doesn't happen that way. Oh, we're gonna go down there, we're gonna do some squats, right? We're gonna get down, we're gonna put it on our back, we're gonna go down, we're gonna go. Yeah, you get the point. You're gonna hurt yourself. You've got to take it slow. You got to take your time. You got to make sure that you're at a weight that is appropriate for a beginner. All of the gains that you've made, if you haven't been back in a while, they are gone. You are starting from scratch. Ladies, same thing. Understand, don't overexert yourself. Take a little bit of time. Build your way up as you start to go through. Don't let weight intimidation make you make a bad decision and derail your gains. Fair? Number four, everyone's looking at me. Here's the thing. Everybody is worried about their selves, okay? It's not about you, but it is about you, okay? Now, when I say that, this is what I mean. People aren't worried about what you're doing. People are there to be able to go to the gym, work out, improve their body, improve their health, those types of things. They're not worried about you, unless you do something stupid. So if you do something stupid, it doesn't make any difference if you're in the gym or if you're out of the gym. Fair enough? Don't worry about everybody looking at you. Just do your thing. I'm gonna give you one simple tip with this thing. Three sessions. Make sure you go through three sessions. After you get through the third, you're not even gonna worry about what everybody else is doing. You're gonna be focused on your workout and be able to be there. That's what everybody else is doing. Again, do not look stupid. Just do your thing and you'll be fine. All right, everybody, number five. Where do I start? Now, there are a number of different things that you can do to be able to start, but none of them make sense until you put a little effort into the process. Now, you can be working at home, you could be working out uh, at the gym, or you could be working out help boot camps that are outside that people come into. There's different options in terms of where, of, of where that's going. But where you start, I'm gonna give you a few, a, a few tips to be able to help you on your journey. Gym, you got a personal trainer there. They can set up programs for you. If you're starting or you're talking about going to a gym, they give you a free session. Sometimes it's like three free sessions. You have to check your gym to be able to see what the deal is, but use them. Find out about the machines, get oriented, let them, you know, if you look at machines that look intimidating, we talked about weight intimidation before, make sure that you use those trainers at the gym, you know, get your free sessions out of that. You may wanna buy a couple more to be able to get you on the right track and then, you know, get you into it and then you, you have a solid way to be able to go through. The uh, second thing is to look at it if you're gonna be working at home, there are a million different programs out there. I say a million, but you get the point. There are a million different programs out there that can help you to be able to work out at home. One of the ones that I would suggest, Beachbody Online. The thing about it is, is that you can get a membership and it's like somewhere between like nine, $12 a month to where you pay that nine and $12 a month, you have access to all of their programs. The reason why I suggest this is that there are different fitness levels that you have, beginners, intermediates, and advanced. They have programs that are geared towards each one of those levels. If you wanna spend the time to be able to get weights, to be able to get a yoga mat, to be able to get uh, resistance bands, instead of spending all the money that you would at the gym, this is a great option for you. The other thing is that uh, you can get trainers that do like boot camps outside. Um, they, they will have a bunch of people meet, they'll get together, you know, you're out there in the environment, obviously when the weather's good, it's kind of crappy outside where I am right now, 
but the point of it is is that it's another option for you so hopefully that gives you a couple suggestions in terms of where do you start the other thing about it is, is that you can check uh, online uh, websites one that I'll suggest for you and again none of these are endorsed uh, products I'm not being endorsed right now but bodybuilding.com if you go in there you can put in your age you can put in your weight what your goals are and they'll show you some programs that are specifically catered towards you. So the idea is that it's an option for you. They can set it up for you. You can check it out. They have pictures to show you what type of, what the exercises are. Great way to be able to start in that case as well. Number six, what should I bring? It's a great question. I'm going to make this so easy for you, okay? I'm gonna get something that's gonna burn into your mind. TTBB, you wanna say it again? Say it again. T-T-B-B. Remember that? Now I'll give you what those mean. The first T is tunes. Think about this. You got tunes in your ears, it transports you to a place to where you are ready to work out. Whether you've got earbuds, see, you know, the, the iPod buds and everything, all that stuff. I haven't gotten them yet because I like having my beats on my head. I like the physical weight of having it there. The point of the matter is, is that you find out what's going to be good for you, all right? You find out what what you like. The thing about it is, is that it gets you ready. All the things that you have work, girlfriend, boyfriend, husband, significant other, whatever it is that's going on in your life, all these things are distractions that get you to a point to where you're not focused when you get in the gym. Music will transport you there. Get good tunes, invest in a good set of headphones, head, whatever it is, ear pods, whatever you need to be able to get you there. Trust me, you, you'll love it. The second one, when we start to get into it, is the towel. This is your second T, all right? You see a towel. Towels make such the difference. I hate, hate, hate that guy that comes in, <clears throat> yoked, walking in, goes like this. Just looks around the gym, acts like he knows everybody, right? Everybody's like, you know, thinks he's an asshole anyway. But you get the point. He walks in, he's got that shirt that I was talking about, that tank top, see the nipples over there, all that good stuff. Dude pisses me off because he gets up there, anytime you don't have clothing on, sweat doesn't have any place to go but out. Fair to say? Okay, we're on the same page. He gets up on the machine, remember he's walking in, doing this shit. Then he gets down on the machine and he works out, he looks like Denzel Washington Glory. <clears throat> you know, just pushing it out and everything. And just pushing out, pushing out reps, pushing out reps, pushing out reps. Then he gets up, no towel, no wipes, leaves the machine with like the ooze, the green ooze. Did you see on Nickelodeon? That's, that's what I associate that thing with. My point of telling you all this stuff, bring your towel. Wipe off the machine, move on to the next one. Please, gym etiquette is a big deal. Let's get to our, our next one. B, beverage. Have a water bottle there with you. Whatever you put in there is up to you. I would suggest going away from energy drinks. I would suggest going away from like the Gatorades, the Powerades of the world, sugar, salt, a lot of things in there. Stick with the good old fashioned water. Just my suggestion. I'm no expert, but you get the point. The idea is having that beverage, the one thing about having it on you is that it doesn't break your stride. When you get ready to go work out at those different machines, if you have to keep on getting up, going getting water, you know, it's an excuse number one to rest. We know that, we're getting past excuses. The other side of it is, is that, you know, you don't wanna get out of your flow. You wanna be in that flow. You've already taken the time to put your earphones on, get yourself and getting your mind right. Having your beverage with you will keep you through. You'll get out of the gym quicker. You'll be able to get back to what you need to do. And the last one, bring a book. I'm not talking about, well, I guess you can have a book to read, but that's not really what I'm getting at. More of what I'm saying is, is that you need to be able to track your progress. You need to benchmark from the beginning, and then you also need to be able to show your progress so you know where you've uh, made, made your journey. You'll find that writing things down gives you motivation. It also makes sure that you can track again what you're doing in this case. So TTBB, remember it, ladies and gentlemen. The number seven fear that we have to get over in terms of going back to the gym is the confusing machines. This one's pretty quick, but it, it does make a big difference. You need to be able to consult somebody who knows how to work the machines, not your cousin, you know, Hector that comes in there, or Vinny, or, you know, Sandra, whatever her name is, and say, oh yeah, I can tell you how to use the machine and they've never used it before. Go to somebody who is an expert. If you were at a gym, 
work with the trainers. I know it can be expensive, but they will help you to be able to work the machines. They have to understand what it is. Find that expert. If it's at home, if you're doing a video, if you're doing those types of things, be very careful and watch your form. Do it like you see on the video. Take the time to be able to watch it first and then do the exercise when you're there. Just make sure that you're doing this stuff right. Things like resistance bands, trust me, you can be out there and you can be stretching those things out and then all of a sudden, if you don't put it on right, pop, pop, that thing will hit you right in your face. You're down the ground, you got a big welt that sits up there and looks like that. And I will be the dude that comes up to you and is walking by and going like this. <laughs> you get the point. Do it right, make sure you get it down there, ask the questions, find out about it. The number eight thing, I won't have time, right? We all don't have time. Let me say this, I'll tell you, I work a full-time job, I have to travel, you know, I'm, these things are excuses and that have hindered me in the past, they're not gonna do it anymore. So I'm not gonna let you get off the hook as well. The idea is that if you plan ahead of time, whether it's, you know, packing your bag that you have to do, instead of doing it, you know, right before you go out the door, have it packed the night before. The other thing about it is, is that making sure that you have your program planned out ahead of time not the day before, not just walking in the gym and saying, yeah, okay, it's upper body day. I'm gonna go over and I'm just gonna do a bunch of machines. Have a specific plan. It will get you in, it will get you out quickly. You know, a good rule of thumb is somewhere between that 45 minutes, you know, that 45 minutes, sometimes it goes to an hour, depending on if you're doing cardio, those types of things. That's a good range to be able to get into the gym, get out, do your workout, you've got the point. Make sure that you make time, invest in yourself. Your body will thank you. Number nine, other guys look, other guys and other ladies look better than we do. Shocker, okay? Look, there's a reason why we've gotten to the point of where we are and we're not feeling totally comfortable with our body. But this goes into living the XL lifestyle. You've gotta accept who you are and you gotta be good about it. The other thing about it is, is that you can get to a certain point, but you can't let other people define you. They look the way, they've worked hard, they've gotten there, great on them, okay? Don't hate on that piece of it, but the idea is that this is about you. It's about finding that place to where you feel comfortable with the way you look. Don't define yourself based on other people. They can be motivation in certain cases, but they aren't meant to define you. Make sure that you take the time to be able to invest in you and to be able to find that happy place and that happy medium to where you can be, feel comfortable with your body. They're not looking at you, we talked about this earlier. The thing about it is, is that you don't want to get caught up in terms of what they look like and how you may be deficient in some way. It's not what we're doing. That's not what excellers do. Excellers excel. We think about it, we know where we are, we've got an end goal of where we want to get to, we get there. That's the way that you do it, guys. List. This one's important. All of them are important. This one is extremely important. What gym do you go to, right? There are a bazillion gyms out there from the big boxes, from CrossFit, from you know people that work out of their homes, personal trainers, all that kind of stuff. The thing about it is, is that you've got to educate yourself. There are a lot of options out there. Here's what I would tell you to do, is to narrow your options down to five things that you might wanna do called boxing gyms, could be CrossFit. Uh, if you wanna be able to do uh, you know, aerobic spin classes, there's spin studios, um, yoga studios. Um, what's the other one called? Barre, I think, Barre, Barre, bar, 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 whatever it is. The point of the matter is, is that you can specialize or you can keep it wide and just go to a regular gym. There's a lot of options out here, but the thing about it is, narrow it down to five different choices and then go check out those places. Get a feel if, if the vibe is good for you. The other thing about it is, and I can't stress this enough, make sure it's close to where you live. If it's an hour away because your friends, you know, go there and all that, and, and if you sign up for a membership, you're not gonna go. You're just not. After a while, you know, you're gonna be like, okay, you know what, God, I have to go, I have to drive an hour away. I would say anything that's more than 15 minutes away from you is going to make, make things difficult for you, all right? So try to find something closer. If it's close to work and then you go someplace, that's something different because you can get off work, but you just gotta make sure that that is within your schedule. It's a big deal. You don't wanna sabotage your whole program. You can get very excited about losing weight. I've told you before, I wanna lose 100 pounds. I know what I've gotta do. My gym is 15 minutes away from me. 
There's other options that I have. I can work out from home. I can work out on the road. I've made sure that I've set myself up for success. I want you guys to do the same. Everybody, thank you for taking the time to be able to come by and listen to me. Look, again, I'm no expert. But the thing about it is, is that, you know, I've had opportunities where I've been very successful in terms of working out. There's times where I've gone up and down. These are the things to me that have helped me to be able to stay on track in terms of doing the programs. These are the things to me that are going to help me stay on track now and be able to get to my 100 pound uh, weight loss goal that I'm doing. So please consider subscribing to the channel because this helps us to be able to grow trying to be able to get as much out there to other potential excellers that have issues or have had problems in terms of staying on track with their program. Click subscribe, hopefully you'll be able to come back. I'll make sure that I have good content for you each time. Put a like on there as well. Uh, that helps to be able to grow the channel if you feel like you're comfortable with it. Lastly, please leave comments. I would ask that you try to stay positive with it. You know, look, it, there, there are many people that want to just say things that are negative. My key is all the time, show me how to do it better and I'll be the first one to listen. So love to be able to hear from you, get those comments, those types of things. Thanks for coming out. And as always, we talk about it. If somebody asks you very specifically, have you reached your weight loss goals? Are you looking the way that you want to do? What do we say as excellers? Almost, but not yet. Thanks guys.